I, I really actually want to ask, like our, our new episode of the Black Print came out today for everybody that wasn't on Patreon. Really funny episode, I, I must say. A lot of people talking about our opinions on Spill still. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, and, and how we felt about that. And, you know, obviously me going on the app and showing you what it looked like. Josh, you still have the same feelings about Spill? Is, is it something you're still not going to do? Everybody forgot about that shit already. <laughs> <laughs> that shit really twenty hours. Yeah, it's rest in peace already, right? Am I wilding? I, there's still people I on Spill. spill. It's, th- it's still people on Spill. I, I think, again, like to go to our conversation, I just don't see an avenue where anybody that's a creator can actually succeed on that app at all. Like, I, I don't, I just don't, not, not at least not like how they could on like AMP. You know what I mean? Could there be like a could there be like a Zola moment on Spill? Like I could see a Zola moment happening on Spill, but that's but that's like the ceiling. That's the extent of it. What what did you feel about that Zola story? I don't think I've actually talked to you about that Zola story, Josh. I loved it, man. I watched the movie. The movie wasn't as good as the story, but wow. I don't know. That shit was cool. Honestly, the movie wasn't terrible either. Like I liked the movie. Um that shit was dope, man. I don't know. I want to see more of that. I love when a story uh, blows up on the internet and then gets a movie made about it. Yeah, for sure. Like there I- was, um, I, I just was thinking about the girl that lived in the hotel and was finessing everybody in New York. Something Annie, Annie Duvernay, or something like that. Oh or, yeah, yeah, or, yeah. It's yeah. not Duvernay. But, well, who was the one who made, that, they made that Netflix show about the scammer? That was her. That was the oh one. yeah, that was, that was her? a movie. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a Netflix show, but yeah, it, it, again, like scammer cinema, pimp cinema, it got to come back in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> what makes you say what made you go that verse what made you say that there aren't enough there aren't enough movies about scamming like like emily the criminal was a good scam movie i don't know if y'all saw that last year oh i just see that that was a good one that's a good movie about scamming and we watched the show um uh i'm, I'm so sad i already forgot the dropout the drop uh, the, yes the dropout we watched the dropout that could have been a movie yeah. though they, they could have did a drop that's a high level scam. yeah that's that, a very high level <laughs> yeah <laughs> i need i need a movie about like the nigga scammers like i need a movie about the g4 boys <laughs> you want the ppp movie they, oh. they, they, they last they were before ppp lasted through ppp and now they still doing their shit like i need a movie about them yeah like like ppp loan loan shit like i, I feel like thanks scams wells tap in yeah <laughs> boa tap in federal <laughs> i mean yeah hey honestly i'm i'm gonna work on that i'm a scammer movie coming who, soon Josh Peace. who would even direct that like i i think that that it's like that's something michael bay could do because i know that he's gonna find a way to put explosion in that bitch somehow yeah somebody bank account exploded in their pocket <laughs> <laughs> well well also it came out today uh, i gotta i gotta get a little timely with it with, with it today emmy nominations came out yeah the emmys only watched two shows secession and um so other shit, they trapped on the island and some shit. What? What? Oh, yellow jackets? No, 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 not yellow jackets. This is the one they were at their resort. Oh, white lotus. You said they stuck on the island. <laughs> yeah, whatever it was, they, I swear to God, that's the only two things that got nominated. No, nah, it was it was uh, Last of Us got nominated. Uh, yellow jackets got nominated. Better Call Saul, my personal favorite, got nominated. Uh, I think. Shout that- out to AO. Ayo from the beer, she, she got, she got, she got nominated. I saw that. Yeah, shout out to her. She, she, she again, Jeremy Allen White, Ayo, they run the, sh- they run that show. I, I think that by far, and and also uh, Richie, uh, is supporting actor, mm-hmm. he got nominated as well. Um, but there was something that people, that somebody said online today, that kind of it ruffled my feathers a little bit. Somebody said, really, Snowfall got snubbed every single year that it was out. Snowfall. Snowfall should have been. That's your man. List. That's your man's, ain't it? Who's who's my man's? Uh the dude, her, him, him. That's your man's, ain't it? Nah. Nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. I like I've never I've never watched Snowfall. I don't plan to watch Snowfall, so. I liked Snowfall first three seasons. Last three seasons. Y'all have heard on the show before. I feel like it, it kind of went to the wayside. If we put in up Snowfall versus Succession versus last of us a lot of these shows it just don't match up bro it's, it's just not there i'm a this is here's my thing with this because I, I saw it i didn't watch the last season of snowfall yet i haven't watched the last two seasons honestly um but i'll say this much i'm looking at the emmy nominations for lead actor and outstanding drama right now mm-hmm. and you got three leads from, from one show yeah that don't even make fucking sense yeah like let's just keep it all the way a buck like names is just I, I don't know why uh, Snowfall got snubbed. I, I heard good things about this last season. I heard they kind of turned it around and, and, and righted the ship. I, I'm not the biggest Damson fan, but I will say 
that's a popular show, it should be nominated in some sense of the word. And like well, to have three people from Succession be in, in one category and then two from fucking, uh, oh no, it's only, okay, I thought it was two from Last of Us. No, no. Nah, nah, but three it, people from well, well, that's well, crazy. Last of Us. It can't be three movies. Last of Us, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense. Well, I think what happens, and this always happens, it happens in Oscars, it happens in a lot of places. When it's the last season, everybody gets a nod. Just just for that, you know, it's like customary or something in Hollywood where everybody gets a nod. Man, right? man, man. I, I'm, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying it's a lot of, it's a lot of customary bullshit going on. And it's <laughs> customary for a black man not to get nominated. I will. And that's, that's what I will agree that if Snowfall was on his last season and Damson never got nominated, he should have, even if I don't think he was like fantastic other than like a couple of moments in the last season, I think he should have at least got one on the way out. I don't really feel like anyone else on the show really like gave that to me, but I think that Damson for sure, I mean, this was, that was, it made him, you know what I mean? Like you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't know him without, without this show. I'm looking at the nominations for outstanding supporting actor in a drama series. It's four people from Secession in this category. <laughs> well, it, yeah. Four White Lotus. Like, this is crazy. It's only White Lotus in, in, in Secession nominated for uh, supporting actor. And one of them got me too on that list. Bro, hey, <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> this is just tells you racism still alive, bro. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Oh, yeah. I don't care if I'm using a race card. This just shows you, like, this shit crazy out here. Being a black man in Hollywood is hard. I don't think any, crazy. I don't think any black man got nominated at all the only real black person that got nominated was um was what's her name from uh um abbott, Ele- abbott elementary that was the blackest show that got nominated all year yeah you got janelle james and you got um quinta you got uh Cheryl Lee ralph in there too yeah so i mean ted lasso also took over in that way as well so and this is it is here's my thing is is the bear a comedy there, this is first season. This is first season. This is this this is first season. Because re- if you remember correctly, um, Jeremy Allen White won Best Actor earlier this year um, for that first season. So the second season will be counted next year. Uh, no, I'm saying you're a comedy. Yes, the first one was it considered be. a comedy. Yeah. Oh, it ain't that funny to me. The first, right. the second. What this is my thing about the bear. As I'm rewatching it, the first season is funny as hell. The second season is actually a drama. There is no comedy in the second season of the bear whatsoever. <laughs> Yeah, shit, crazy. Yeah, like I, I, I just wanted to know your, I just wanted to know your thoughts on the on the snowfall conversation. I think that this is something that like, it's it's not a big deal, but it is a big deal for for me for once for one sense of the term where it's like, okay, it was the last season. They should they could have got something, but then you look at like other shows that were critically acclaimed, did super well, like that don't get the look that Succession got. And I love Succession, but they be riding Succession's like peen very very hard in Hollywood. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. Uh, it's a little boring to me, but I get it. I get oh, it. Man. I just I just multiple people are getting nominated for the same kind of uh, the same category. That just doesn't make sense to, to me. Like, if you're on the show, it should be two leads, yeah. one male, one female, and two. I mean, it could be multiple supporting, I guess, but the lead it should be two. I, I've never seen multiple leading men or women in the series before. That's crazy. But the supporting is crazy to me, especially in the male sense, because it's just Succession and, and White Lotus. But you still had Better Call Saul. You still had, you know, all these other shows that you could have could have taken from, and and it just kind of takes everything up. It makes it almost like not fun to watch because it seems like the Emmys are going to be the uh, goodbye Succession Awards <laughs> instead of like like anything like actually outstanding. You know what I mean? Like it seems like everyone's going to be celebrating the end of Succession instead of celebrating like actual good sh- like well it's a good show but celebrating other shows. You know what I mean? Are people going to go to the Emmys? I thought we boycotted. I thought we were on a strike right now. Well, it probably it probably won't have a host. And actually, I'll get to that because I want to talk about the Emmy the the ESPYS after this next break. Uh, and you know how how you feel about kind of what they're doing with that this year but i want to take a quick break really quick we can, we're going to go back to 2004 with a couple of our songs on black parent radio we'll be right back big salute to everybody that joined us for another amazing black print radio live on amp if you did not get a chance to catch us live make sure that you tune in this wednesday same time same place 9 p.m eastern 6 p.m pacific live on amp brand new sets brand new guests brand new topics and what's more you've got a brand new episode of throw blacks the wait is finally over yes it is dropping next week the green day american idiot 
episode of Throwblacks. One of two Throwblacks episodes that is dropping this month for the month of July is dropping next week. But that's not the only thing dropping next week. We also have a brand new episode of Recut Gems between myself and A-plus on the way. And the best benefit is that you get both of those between Throwblacks and Recut Gems early as a patron. And as always, if you do not get a chance to listen to Black Print Radio live on AMP with us as a printer, you get the episode in full on Patreon. No previews, full music, nothing is cut out, nothing is censored, everything is as is in high definition to be able to listen as a patron. So join us. The family is growing day by day. Come be a printer at patreon.com forward slash blackprint.